Hi there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. It is a Wednesday. There is two days, well less than two days left of the uh, Barnsley transfer window as this video goes out. Uh, before we get talking about what we're talking about in this one, drop a like if you could please. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help. We're on the road now. 6,000 subs, over 6,000. It's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Um, so it's Wednesday evening. Hope you're all enjoying your week best you can. Um, as far as Barnsley fans are concerned, or at least I'm concerned, it's been quite a while since the last signing in uh, Callum Britton, who came on Saturday. Nobody else has come through the gate or you know, been officially come officially signed, uh, and and anything like that. Uh, is it worrying? Yes, a little bit, really. You know, two days. Well, like I said, less than two days left of this transfer window, and we're still three, four players short. Would you say striker? Maybe another two strikers, midfielder, winger. Um, you know, and and have I got any faith now that these players? Are we gonna are we gonna get any players in? Are we gonna see Woodrow go? You know, we touched on Woodrow the other day, the Cardiff link and everything like that, and I said it'd be absolutely suicidal for the club, and it would, it really would. As a lot of you put in the comments, you know, a lot of you said selling Woodrow would be absolutely wrong and everything. Forget his performances, forget, you know, everything like that. On his day, he can score goals, so it would be it would be it would be suicidal really selling Woodrow when you already need a striker anyway. You know, I mean, and, and there's no concrete links or anything. I mean, there never is anyway. There never is. Um, Adam Murray took training. The, the club tweeted the photo and they all looked absolutely so into it. They looked so happy uh, and everything like that, didn't they? Um, the head coach situation, again, you know, nothing new on that. We touched on a video on the live on Monday. We said Darren Moore, uh, he was the odds on favourite, but you don't really go on odds. So you can't go on odds. We've never done it. The amount of times that you could have 10 people listed and not one of them had, had come to Oakwell and there'd be some randomer from overseas. That's usually the case with us. Um, you know, I think we've had long enough now and I, 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 to, to actually get players into the club and that's what the worrying thing is. There's, there, there's been a lot of time. There's been a lot of players out there, free agents, who... I would probably go along as saying we haven't even looked at. I would go that far. I would say we've not looked at any. Um, and th this Callum Britton, you know, we'll hopefully we'll see him on uh, on Saturday against Bristol City, which is going to be a tough game. Bearing in mind the preview will follow this video tomorrow, but that's going to be a very very tough game, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Um, and the squad, you know. Signings not just don't just improve the football on the pitch, but it also improves individual players that are already here. You look at Woodrow Mower, you know, you get a a, a, a a decent signing come through the door, and they think, well, maybe now we can, you know, this this will help us as a team. So that that's another factor as to why performances could have been bad. You know, it's clear clear to this day it needs an injection and it needs investment, but we're just not. I don't know what it is, and I'm not saying they aren't looking for players. I'm really, really not. I'm not. I'm sure, by by God, they are. But why? Why forever? Why always does it take so so long? We're literally so close to the deadline, and you know, there's there's nobody come through the door, and and let, I, I have to say, and I'm gonna say this now that I think I definitely think a player. I'm not. I'm don't know, but. A player will has got to come through that door. It has it's got to, because if it doesn't, there will be absolute uproar on this. Um, there will be uproar. Um, another thing I want to point out in this video, guys, as well as a little update. I don't know what we. Well, I've got an idea what we're going to do for Saturday for the watch along because, as you know, these restrictions, which are uh, you know getting annoying, um, we can't do them here anymore uh, so it looks like we, if we are were to do watch alongs we're going to have to be outside again so I'm trying my best to actually get something sorted um, so we can do a watch along for you guys obviously I can do a watch along on my own but it's a lot better when you've got the other lads here as well and, and, and to be fair I want to watch it with them as well um, because that's what it's all about but uh, yeah because of the these 
uh, I'm not even going to this is the, not get into that. Let's not get into politics. But anyway, I'll try and sort that for you guys. Uh, get your comments in on what you think and whether you're starting to worry now with the no signings coming through the door. As always, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe to TaxDB if you are new. And uh, that's all I can add really, guys. Other than stay tuned to the channel. We will see you tomorrow for the match preview. You wait.